This ground operation into southern Lebanon is not the first time by any means that Israel has moved into southern Lebanon in response to provocations from the Hezbollah or other uh, militant groups. Let's take a look at that history. It all began actually in 1978, the first time. This was the first Israeli invasion of Lebanon. The the trigger for that invasion was a PLO attack. They'd, uh, they'd come via the sea and they'd attacked a bus full of Israelis in Haifa, killing many of them, triggering the first invasion. Then in 1982, four years later, the second Israeli invasion of uh, Lebanon happened. This was after PLO attacks from positions in southern Lebanon triggered a second invasion. This lasted a very long time in different forms, up till 2018 year presence on the ground by the Israelis in Lebanon. In 2006 was the third Israeli invasion of Lebanon. The trigger at this time was a Hezbollah cross-border raid into northern Israel, targeting an Israeli army patrol, killing a certain number of soldiers. And finally, we're seeing now in 2024 what could be the precursor to a full-fledged uh, invasion. The military in Israel says, of course, that this is a limited ground operation that's taking place. Some troops have moved in targeting certain, uh, certain, uh, certain uh, locations of the Hezbollah in southern Lebanon, in uh, villages in southern Lebanon, but it is not yet a full-scale ground invasion of the previous uh, three times.